Hi felters and welcome. So today we are going to brush out four different types of wool yarn. I've got some really uh, simple dog brushes that you can use. They're not expensive. You don't have to buy the proper carders. And we're going to brush out these wools and then I'm going to felt it back down. So I get asked this question a lot. I'd love to know the answer. Let's get started. So these are the dog brushes. I've had these for a long time. They are really quite cheap, about seven pounds each. You could get away with one brush. Probably best to get two, especially if you're needle felting mixing colors. This wool is mostly, I think, acrylic and nylon. I don't think this has got any wool in it at all or a very small amount if it does. So, I mean, you're gonna do this with what wools you're, you've got. You're not gonna go and buy wool to do this. So just basically, you're gonna to have to test out the wools that you have. So I'm trying to do quite long strands and I've done about 10 to 12. I want to be able to wrap it around my hand and hold on to it. I'm brushing this out on my table. Uh, the dog brushes don't leave any scratches. Um, but make sure you don't scratch any surface. You, you, it's better if you do get a bit of contact um, with the surface. I found that sort of an easier way to do it. So I'm sort of starting as we are, and um, it's going to felt up uh, into the brushes as well as that's a short bit that was annoying me. It, it's going to sort of card up into the brushes as well as um, on the strands on the table. So it's a bit of a mixture of both, um, and as it collects in the brushes you sort of pull it off now this is not too it, it's quite strenuous on the hand it's not too bad in a minute I turn it round like that that's a lot easier um, brushing it away from yourself really holding on uh, to the strands and working your way from the ends upwards and it you know it creates a lovely effect on the strands that are left behind down there but here you go you see it all gathered up and you're gonna to have to remove it off the brushes every so often. But you know, that is wool going back to sort of felting wool. So I carried on with this one and I went about halfway up and then I turned it around, so keep pulling it off. Um, I was impressed at the amount of wool that you end up with or the amount of felting wool. Um, so I turned it around and then held on to the little end bits and worked my way back up the other end. and. Uh, that worked quite well. I only scratched myself a couple of times and then towards the end you can see I've managed to sort of brush it out completely um, and that's literally almost tops there as it is but if you're messing it all up together it's going to end up a bit more. It's a mixture between carded and tops like um, it's not completely tops it all in a straight line. So next up this is Woolies and it's 20 percent wool I think. Now I thought right we'll test out doing slightly shorter strands give it a go see if I can as long as I could hold on to it really well I thought it would be all right um, but I that was too many strands here you can see it's quite hard you really have to spread them out I, I had to turn them over and over um, it was working don't get me wrong but it would probably be easier if I had less strands and you see if I turn it and uh, card away from myself I get a much stronger card. So if you struggle with your hands and strength, um, there's a quicker way or a different way that I do it in a minute. But look, at, I do like the effect of the wool, sort of if you had to do a really nice mane or something. Um, so the half sort of brushed out effect is quite nice really. But um, it definitely was working. See, I turned it round, but I, I had too many again. So I split them in half here to make my life a little bit easier towards the end, because you do end up sort of catching yourself every now and again. Um, and then when it got down to the very sort of small bits, I thought, let's use two brushes, throw them into the brushes and literally card it like you would when you're mixing wool. And that worked really well, actually. I had to do it quite a few times to get all the little bits. Um, but if you had some wool, and it was in wool yarn, and it was in the colour that you wanted. I mean, look, that's quite a lot that I've managed to get out. There's a few little bits in this one. So um, it might be the type of wool, and the wool had a lot of um, bits fall out of it. So that was definitely the wool ease type of wool that I had. So I had to clean the table a bit. So I thought, because I'd done some actually on the brushes, I'd give it a go with little short bits. Now, this is much easier on the hand. It definitely works. 
but you obviously don't get as much and you'll be cutting up quite a lot of bits but yeah it was definitely easier on the hand doing it that way um but you you're not like i said you're not going to go out and buy wool to do this uh you're going to look at what you've got and then you can use it so this one is an alpaca mix it's like 10 percent alpaca so um, I thought I'd give this one a go and I just did little bits again just to try out this method. I think I would prefer to go to the long stuff in the end. But you could use this wool as um, core wool. You could use it outer wool. I think you could get it fine enough. We'll go through the felting process in a minute. Um, definitely as a sort of a long coat effect. You could use it like that. You'd have to sort of brush it out again as you apply it. Um, it could be used as stuffing for toys as well. But yeah, you could definitely use it for sure if you've got this wool yarn lying around and you don't know what to do with it or you want to save some money and practice a bit of needle felting without it costing you anything. So this is the alpaca one. It, it uh, was a lot finer. You'll see that when I start to sort of felt it. So this is the papacha, papacha, so I think that's how you say it. And this is again acrylic and 20% wool. And I went back to the longer strands because I think that's the best method. Not too many. So look at the amount of wool I've got here. And then we'll look at the amount that it cards into. And so a nice tight hold on it. And then I'll probably twi twist my hand around to get a better um, angle on it. But yeah, look, at I do like that effect there, the sort of half and half. It's really beautiful. And this wool came out really nicely nice long strands which makes it easier to roll up afterwards and yeah it, it wasn't too bad and then got to halfway through and then turned it round um, and then just I just got both carders in the end to do the final bits and it does work but yeah I had to spend a bit of time going through this section here to get all all of it out because I had too much on the brush there but this is a lot of wool that's a lot of felting wool for, for you out of just a couple of strands. So I'm just going to try and felt them up really quickly. I'm not going to make you sit through it all. They all felted up to different degrees with how long each one took. But that depends on the content of the wool yarn that you are carding up, basically. This green one took a little bit longer. Uh, it didn't felt up that well. A single needle was definitely best for it. I couldn't use my multi-needles on, on any of them. Um, this one, I think the woolies, it does have quite a bit of wool. Um, this one was more like a carded wool and it felt it up really, really well um, and much quicker than the others. Um, this alpaca one, obviously it's finer. It's a much finer wool, so it's going to take longer. Um, so, you know, it's not something I'd recommend if you wanted to get a smoother finish on something. And then the chunky wool, because it was in nice long strands, was easy to wrap up and roll round. And it actually felted up okay. So if you've got a chunky wool hanging around, it would definitely work. So there we go. So that's all the balls. I literally did them for a couple of minutes um, and they all felted. Depending on, on the wools, they all felted up. So you've just, if you've got wool, and a dog brush or you know someone who's got a dog brush you could definitely save yourself some money and card up some wool with a little bit of effort i hope you've enjoyed that it's a really good experiment to do and like i said i do get asked that question a lot so now i can give my answer confidently that i've actually done it and had a go um, if you want to know what i do with all these wools and how to create some fantastic sheep effects click on this video here and I'll meet you over there. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and we'll see you again soon. Take care.